Hi Year 2, so this week in DT we are going to be thinking about designing our super potato stuffed toy. So you're going to have to think about a few things, you're going to have to consider who the toy is going to be for or what it's going to be for, have a think about how you're going to make it and also think about the equipment that you're going to need to be able to make it. So in the files section in, on Teams or on the school website, you'll see a design sheet that looks like this. If you can't find it, don't worry, you can just do it on a piece of paper or if you haven't printed it out, just, just do it on a plain piece of paper. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is draw a picture of what you want your stuffed toy to look like. Your stuffed toy is going to be a soup potato. So you can have a look at images on Google of Super Potato or have a look in the books to see exactly what he looks like because in your picture that you draw you need to include as much detail as possible. So have a think about the shape of him, have a think about the colour, what does he wear and then you need to have a think about what your stuffed toy is for, what's its purpose, what's its function. Is it going to be something that you're going to keep to play with perhaps or maybe you want to make it for somebody else as a gift? The next thing you need to do is to have a think about how you're going to make your stuffed toy. So we are going to use certain methods to make our sweet potato toy. You are going to need to use some scissors for cutting. Um, this is to make sure that your stuffed toy is the right shape, the right size, and that all the parts of it look correct. Um, you're going to need to pin the pieces of fabric together so that when you're working on them, maybe when you're sewing them, so they don't move apart, they're in the right place. And then obviously to join the parts of our sweet potato stuffed toy, we're going to be sewing and perhaps gluing as well. The next thing you need to do is have a think about what you might need. So the fabric that we're going to use to make your toy is going to be felt. The reason why we've got this is because it's quite easy to use. Um, it's nice and soft and it doesn't fray once it's cut. The edges don't start coming apart. So you're going to need some felt. Um, but have a think about how you're going to get that into the right shape. What do you need to use? Have a think about what the other parts of your sweet potato toy are going to be made out of. How are you going to join the parts together? What will you need to, to be able to do that? And um, what will you need for adding all the detail on as well? And finally, I want you to have a think about what you might struggle with. What are you going to find hard? Um, the cutting is quite tricky because we've got a couple of layers of felt to get through. Um, the sewing is, is quite tricky if you've not done that before and maybe the fiddly detail, detailed parts such as his belt might be quite difficult to get right because they're much smaller pieces. We really look forward to seeing all your ideas and designs so when you're finished please do email them in and um, we will reply as soon as we can. Thank you.